Right, it's a nice Saturday morning. We're up early. We are going to go and try and do some mild off-roading in our Defender. It's going to be an off-road test. It's just me and George getting out. Um, right, here we go. So I'm going to have a go at mounting the GoPro on the bonnet here. I'm going to have a go at that. Just I can't be bothered with any of these suction cups. So the car's got to earn its living. So it's going to be drilled. Probably invalidate my warranty, but we'll be right. I don't think so. Because what I've noticed is we've got these plastic panels, so I'm not sure. So these plastic panels here, I guess they, I even looked how they clip on, but they're clearly removable with this sort of checker plate finish. It's quite interesting because it's sort of their own sort of rounded off checker plate. So I reckon by luck, they've left one hole here that goes through. In fact, I can feel a sticky double-sided thing underneath. Probably hear that sticky there. So I reckon I'm just gonna whack a drill through there. There might be another little one there, but I really wanna get as close to the front as I can. Um, but that'll do. And um, we'll go there. Um, and I reckon that will come through this plastic. And then at least if I have to sell the car, or I can put a little, so I'm gonna get my drill out here and just heinously, I haven't got anyone helping me today. George is having a shower. Right. See what happens. There we go, we're through. That's neat enough. No one had ever noticed anyway. Right, let's get the, see how we can mount it on. Easy as that. We've got the GoPro mounting, five seconds. Wait, it's done. I've got the GoPro case mounting. Look at that. Now, I'm not sure what it'll be able to see from there, but hopefully, hopefully something. I've raised it up a little bit. We'll have a look. Right, now we've got to get a screw fix. We've ordered some secateurs and shears and a little bow saw just in case we get any scratchy bits. Although, I think we're going to end up getting scratched somewhere sooner or later. Right, let's go. Right, there we go, here's the screw fix. Do our social distance queuing up and go and get some go and get some secateurs and some shears and a saw so that we can get through all the off-roady stuff. Apparently I need it, we'll see. All right, we got some goodies apparently. We got a spare petrol can, we got, we got some saws and some loppers. Hopefully we're not gonna need them, but the uh, Green Loan Association said they were some good things. We've got to grab a first aid kit, a jack, some other stuff, and then we'll all be good to go. Right, we've got off We've got off the main road, and we're in the Wiltshire countryside now. And um, we're using the Trailwise app. So this is part of the um, Green Lane Association. And we're going to follow this red road here. So we should meet up with the Ridgeway, which is one of the most ancient roads or rights of way in Britain. Apparently it goes back 5,000 years. So um, so here we go, we think we're on the right. We've got the GoPro mounted, we've got the GoPro on. So there we go, George, let's, let's see where this goes. Right, now, at the moment we haven't played with any of our settings. So we're in standard height and we haven't gone in any off-road mode. So get your seatbelt on. Seat belt on. But let's, let's see, it looks like it's getting a bit more off-roady up here, doesn't it? So, we're alone, um, which isn't ideal. We wanted to find some buddies. I did write to the, because we have joined the Green Lane Association, but they haven't replied. But I think it could be to do with pandemic and other stuff. So, let's have a look where we go. But we are trying to be sensible, responsible off-roaders. Um, we're not about tearing up the countryside. It is a bit contentious. Um, again, we haven't, we've got low ratio we can use if we want, but... I don't think we need to yet. Right. So we'll do some footage on the old GoPro and hopefully so we're starting to get some nice views out there, aren't we, George? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to raise the car suspension now and then we're going to, I think because if you look at the road ahead it's getting a bit more rutted so let's let's select some off-road mode here so it comes up here 
So we've got grass, gravel, mud, ruts. I think mud, ruts is the one we want, don't you, George? What's the next one? The next one's sand, isn't it? Yeah. Sand, yeah. We've got mud, ruts, sand, rock crawl. We're not rock crawling, I mean, we're not wading. So let's go mud, ruts, I think that. I think we're gonna scratch the paintwork, but hey, uh, not to worry, we'll get it wrapped with that wrap design Ben did, but, all right. Let's... Whoa. Whoa. Get this car dirty. <laughs> That's too easy in a defender. It is too easy. We're still talking. I can still drink a drink, oh. I reckon, and do this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So that is the Ridgeway. So we can go, so this is an ancient byway. Now it, it looks pretty cool down there, but I think we were gonna to plan to go straight on. If we look at the map, George, let's have a look. So how did we recenter the map, George? Press that thing, Press that thing and then there. again. And then again. All right, so we're at the air. I was planning to go straight across and we're gonna go along down here. I've read the reports for this, so let's just keep going. We'll do those another day. So yeah, obviously we need to drive sensibly. We can't hack it down too much. We did a little bit fast there, but we were just trying to test the car. I don't want to disrespect the countryside and these rights of way, um, because all that will do is get four by fours banned from it. So it is responsible. People, there are farmers and people that need to use these tracks. There are walkers, there are cyclists. We need to share these rights of way. But I think it is important that we all enjoy the countryside. Right, we found some, we're now on the Ridgeway. I think we're gonna scratch the car here, George. Some rats, so. and rats. Does that look like it's going to scratch me then? That does look like it's going to scratch right, you. Let's get out with our saw. Right, I'm a bit worried this is going to scratch the car. Now I know it's a part of wildlife, but this tree is looking a bit over whatever. I don't think it's going to be there. And these rights of ways do need to keep clean, don't we? We do need to keep them tidy. Right, so we're doing okay. We're just cutting just a couple of branches that are just the worst ones. As much really for people who are coming along to keep the byway clear for most people. If they don't look too fierce, I'm letting them live. Slid out. The back just slid out, the front sliding. It's quite slidey. Whoa! It's quite slidey at the moment. We're going into the ruts now. Got low ratio. Oh, the low ratio won't help this. It's, the, it's just the. I mean, we've got semi off road. I'm going to just clip this one here. There we go. In fact, what we might do, George, is get you to jump out and go down the lane and watch me come in along. Well, that'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah, all right, then you go down the bottom there.
woods now, which is actually quite a good expression, isn't it, George? Yeah. <laughs> out of trouble, but yeah. I wonder where that came from. I wonder if that's an off-road device. They're out the woods now. So we're going to go up here, and then I'm going to turn right up here again. We're still following. We're still following our little the state of my hands on my new car, do right, We're still tracking it up here. But we're doing good. How's the car doing? Amazing. It's good. So show them this 4x4 screen you've managed to discover, Joanne. So we're still not in low ratio. We're still in high ratio. One thing we found slightly annoying is every time we get in and out of the car to just clear something out of the way, it seems to reset on the old um, mud and ruts, doesn't it? It kept going back to the Comfort. standard program, which yeah. I don't understand why. Um, so I'll have a word with that and see. Maybe there's something we're doing wrong. Um, right, let's crack on. Look at this beautiful, look at the views out there, you can see for miles down through here. So we're just trying to work out what, so it's saying we're pretty much level left to right, this is. If we tilt over, if I go up the bank one side, it might tip us a little bit more, oddly not. Um, and this is how much an incline we're actually driving up. There you go, we've got a three degree sideways tilt and it, um, it's locked the centre diff. Um, it's saying we're in muds and ruts, it's saying we've got the suspension up, it's saying we're still in high ratio and we've got the hill descent on. So if we get to a hill it will break us rather than us sliding down it. Because I think at some point or other we're going to have to go down the hill, George, which is often harder in an off-road. Now I am an off-road in novice as well as a vehicle wrap in novice, but we thought we wanted to do this just to see how it, see how it does. And so far, so good. Now, there we go. Look at the view. So someone commented, oh, Swindon, that's a dump. But I, I think around Swindon's not too bad, is it? It's not too shabby. It's nice. Swindon itself, a bit dodgy, but... Oh, controversial, George. <laughs> so, yeah, the um, it's interesting, the hill descent. Now, look, oh, now, look, I said it was... Oh, it's unlocked, so it's unlocked that diff now. So it's done that itself for some reason, George. I mean, we are on tarmac, to be fair to it. Right, should we get some pictures? Yeah. Let's get some pictures of the car. Stop or we'll just pull in here and get some pictures of that. Jerry, my mate, so how, how, how's our driving doing? Are we doing all right? What, what do you think of the views? What do you think of the Swindon area? Pretty good. Thumb, thumbs up from Jerry. All right, come on, Jerry, crack on. We can't sit here all day. So we just stopped there for just to show Jerry the view and everything and um, check he was all right. And it's put us back. Now, admittedly, we're, not, we're on tarmac, so I don't need the, but when we were stopping earlier, just to clear stuff, it was annoying every time you get back in and out. So we will, we will have to ask the question, or we could read the book, George. Have we read the book yet? No. Anyway, well, what are you doing? Oh, can you, can I you just manually? Said, I just, no, I just set it back. To, set it back to Muds and Ruts? Yeah. Okay. Well, that brings us to the end of our little morning adventure. Good time, Joe. Oh, sorry, do you want a cake? Your, his body's a temple, apparently. Anyway yourself you can see the m4 over there so there we go but that was a nice morning out um i don't think we've scratched it too much we'll have a look we'll pressure wash it off on monday but we certainly got it muddy um which is obviously what their defender's supposed to do um you know we've passed some people on motorbikes and we'll we'll cut in some of the gopro footage and you can have a look and um the, the odd thing is it feels like the defender doesn't feel offensive on these lanes Maybe a Disco 5 would feel a bit urban or look a bit urban. But the Defender seems to sort of fit in. I, I think it's sort of not aggressive. It's It's got a nostalgia to it. So anyway, there we go. We've taken it off road. We'll try and do some more. If you've got anything else you'd like us to do with our Defender, let us know. Um, give us some ideas. All right, hope you enjoyed that.